All right, so this is exactly how it comes out of the box. Um, all of these parts are in one area. Um, this whole section right here, is, all these little parts are gonna come in a box. Uh, you have a seat and then you have a fender. So what comes in the box are your um, pedals, for the front fork, the brake, um, the, the brake disc, the instructions, and then these um, are for the front fork, these little pieces, and this is the hardware. So now we're going to assemble it. Parts for the, the front fork installation. So you have the, um, the plastic covers, the ball bearings, you have the washers, um, the comb and the plastic comb headset, and then you have the uh, gear block right here. So we're gonna go ahead and assemble it right now. So you take this guy. So you get that, you take your part, the handlebars, you see the X, you go more or less right here with the X back facing you. Then now you take the the plastic uh, the plastic cover, go in first. Then you take one of the washers, now you have that in, you place it through here. Now, same thing, just reverse. First you put one of the, the bearings, then one of these washers. And then number three is this comb, the metal one. Then a plastic comb. Just make sure it's out of place. Now that you have that in, you put the washers. Okay, now for the headset. Sure, to line it correctly. You take the uh, gear block and screw it in. Okay, now you can install the disc brake. So align the holes. And it comes with the little hardware. I'm just gonna hand tighten this, these first. Then I'm gonna go in with the Allen wrench and tighten them up. All right, next I put the seat post in, uh, flipped it over so it can be easier for me to put the wheel on. Uh, with the side with the disc, it goes on this side. Simply put it on. Okay. These little hook washers go inside the holes. Put head and grip. Alright, now we put the caliper. This goes this way. So you're gonna have these three screws facing inward, and the disc is gonna go in between there. Put that the disc in between there. And you line up the holes. So screw it in. Okay, now you use your Allen wrench to tighten these. Okay, now there is a loose wire, a loose brake wire that you're gonna feed.
burst through here. Like so make sure that the plastic tube goes all the way through. Now here is a little tube in there. You're gonna feed it through here. Like that. And now you're gonna put the wire through this little loop right here. You might need to loosen this. So you feed it through. And now you would tighten this. Now you, you may need to um, adjust a few parts in the brakes. Um, to do that, you would just check if the brakes are nice and tight. If they're not, loosen back up, tighten it as needed or loosening it as needed. Now if you're having issues uh, with adjusting this, if it's too tight, uh, there's a couple of things you can do. You can either loosen this uh, or the other side there is another uh, Allen wrench. Um, so you loosen those to loosen the, the brake. Um, if you want, you can also try to reset it um, by pressing down on these little flaps here. Um, also, if you notice that the caliper is tilted one side or the other, um, you can adjust that by loosening this and rotating or moving this back and forth to get that right. Um, and just make sure to tighten everything back up. Okay, so these pedals are, are um, Label left and right. Uh, the right has an R, the left has an L. So this is the left, this is the right. The right screws in um, just like any other screw would. Righty tighty. Um, now the left pedal is a little different. Um, instead of going right to tighten it, you actually go left to tighten it. and you would just get the unwrench to make sure those are nice and snug. Also, um, to pull these in, they, they push down and then fold. Same thing with the other side. Push down and fold. So that saves a little bit extra space.